It peggle. It peglin. It po poggers. I don't know. How much do I want to be a one trick pony? Always. Look, man. If peglin gives you bombs, you'd go bombs. That's just the way of it. Look. My. My mission here is not over until every, I, I have done a run with uh, so many bombs, there are no pegs left. That was like a really good shot, actually. I don't want to like fire too many of them. I'm going to fire just enough. Fine. Delete these suckers. And set us up the bomb. There we go. That's the stuff. Bold orbs. I don't know how I read that as a three last time. Okay, so I see a chest and a mid boss. Oh, okay. This has got some this has got some potential to it. I'm gonna like somehow miss all of those. It just feels inevitable. I'm not entirely sure. So I got a couple of comments on the last episode saying that it was feel uh coming off is kinda done with Peglin, and the answer is like, I don't know, maybe. It's one of those that uh this game <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a more trash shot in this game. Uh let's see. But I rather enjoy Peglin. I think it's actually a, like a pretty solid game, all things considered. Uh, but I kind of wish the game had been two acts, half an hour long, and both acts were spicy. Uh, and the fact that, I don't know, for the most part, it's three acts, and acts two and three aren't quite there yet. And, like, it just feels kind of premature. I don't know. This happens with a lot of early access games for me, that I get kind of this fatigue, where it's just like, oh man, I love this game. And I play, like, a ton of it. And then I lose interest, like, permanently. Well. Good thing it didn't really matter which direction I was going. That was a shot. I might be a little tired today, so uh, yeah, that's a thing. I was tired yesterday, but I'm more tired today. Oh, it is what it is. Oh, it's a solid shot. Some good dangage. Don't actually set that both bombs off. Shoot. I mean, it's fine. Doesn't actually matter that much. No, let's not bother. There's no way we're hitting the crit. There we go. Yeah, so I have this problem not infrequently with various games that I play where it's just like, I get super motivated about the early access version and then I just burn out so totally for the full, full release. It's almost impossible for me to come back. It's, I don't know. It's kind of a curse. It's not very fun. But it's kind of also like the nature of the work. And the nature of like games. Because for me, the first impression of like any game is the most valuable. Ah, didn't quite get the kill. Fine. At this point, Bulldore will mop up. It's all the problem. I'd love to do a run that is just like pure bold orb, nothing more. I... I really gotta check those mods. Um... Yeah... Okay. I'm gonna go here. I don't... I don't trust question mark spots that much. Is the real answer.
Okay. We gotta focus kind of hard over here if we can. Let's see. We do have the Bob Orb. Now, hopefully, we get the refresh relic. Uh, on the plus side, the the relic pool in this game is uh, pretty thin. Which is kind of a huge plus. Ow. So it's actually very viable for it to show up on this run. There we go. Pair of bombs. I'll take most of the suckers out. Perfect. This is going to be a wash. I mean, okay, took out the spider. I'll take what I can get. There we go. Worked out, actually. Like, weirdly well. We. Let's see, upgrade a borb. Bold orb or bob orb? Probably bold orb. Okay. Don't end up going somewhere very strange. And we get weaponized envy, which I'm okay on. Let's hope we get this one. Sometimes these do not feel like cooperating. Uh... Orbros is tempting. But we're already like halfway into a decent ish bomb run. It feels very strange to pivot right now. This would be the easy way of putting it. All right, there we go. There goes all those boys. Would have been nice to actually get two, two shots here, but that's okay. Well, that was pretty pathetic, but it's fine. Just tip that one. No damage, but it's fine. Didn't need to do damage. Gives me a bunch of bombs. It's fine. At some point, they'll go off. Just for a run like this, kind of need them to. There's one. Are he gonna get close? This is gonna hurt a bit, ain't it? We don't have a refresh. Or we do. Only immediate problem is we're setting up a lot, but we're not actually setting off any. This guy's gonna be right up in here. You know what? There's two. This is gonna hurt, ain't it? Let's try that. Okay, that's two more. And all I have to do is just hit, like, just a smidge. Alright, we're good. Did some damage. We might want to heal after this one. Okay, Alchemist Cookbook. You know, I actually kind of don't want it. We don't want to hurt my damage that much. Let's go peg bag. Okay. And we want to go this way. The second one is about to go a different direction. And then it's like, wait a second. That's that's a fool's venture. I don't want to do that. We 
actually have two different mid boss spots down here. Well, that's interesting. <sighs> nope. Well, let's let's hope we don't screw this next one up. I was just hoping I could maybe set that off because that'd be interesting. Flip the chip? No, thank you. Well, oh, perfect. That is not my favorite event, but it's nice to get it out of the way. All right, Bob Orb right off the bat. Interesting. Ugh. Pretty freaking bad Bob Orb round. That's okay, that's a third of its HP right there. That's a little shy. Alright. Eh. That was bad. I'm not really sure what I gain by throwing this. I probably should have just gone for the reset. Let's see. Not enough? Not enough. It's okay. All I have to do is hit him for six. There we go. Problem solved. There we go. We just got two bombs off. I'll take it. Okay. Do we upgrade? Yeah. At this point, we want to upgrade the Bob Orb. And there's the Recombobulator. All right. So now we want another Bob Orb if I can get it. Is it Bomb Orb? No, it is a Bob Orb. Probably is uh, play on Bob Bomb. All right. Well, grab the fire. Mm. No, I'm gonna dash through the flames. We we still don't want the Inferno Orbs, because even if we had them, we have the um. Enhanced gunpowder, which kind of renders them a little moot. And there's also the one perk that specifically just gives me them. Uh, or gives me the effect without any of the downsides. But I'd kind of rather grab that if I can. There we go. I'm just gonna keep nuking him. It's fine. Uh, I don't know. That's, that's some good damage. We are good. All right. Yeah, what else, what else do we even need for this potential hyper bomb run? That I've got in my head. Not much. Like, maybe an Orbseum. Maybe an Orbseum. That'd be about it. Upgrade that. And let's go see us a mole. Honestly, the other thing that would be really helpful would be the upgrades that make it so we get, um... Ah, oh, man. Maybe the Anikris cookbook actually would have been banger. Oh, well. Um... Ah, oh, it's a bunch of bombs right off the bat. Yeah, they're only 35 apiece. The extra damage would probably be the trick. Ah, uh, let's see. I realize it's kind of a it's kind of a redux of the last round, which wow, that was a good shot. But there's some differences. It's not many, and it definitely goes back to kind of what I was talking about with like games feeling just a little. Uh, little stale. Wow, that's a shot. 
Eat bombs, mole face. The odd part is I'm not actually reliant on the bombs for my damage. Oof. Wait. It's it's almost the cascade effect of the things that they hit. Oh gosh, this will get nutty. We really need a Matropshka in here. Nah, not actually gonna kill him, but it's fine. Kinda kind of like don't caresville. We'll get him. There's no way, there's no way he's going to kill us. All I have to do is actually hit one of those. But yeah, the bombs will set off the other bombs because of the AoE effect. We don't want the Echo Orb, we don't want the Orbalist. Hell, I don't even want the Swolt Orb. I don't want the Electro Pegnant. I think we want the gift that keeps on giving. I'm, I'm going to try and go for that one. Because that's going to make the explosive effect that much stronger. If we're lucky. We'll see. Ugh. Eh. There we go. Now, unfortunately, this thing has like no base damage, but it doesn't need base damage. Well, I'm not regretting my decision. We'll definitely need some healing here, but yeah, we're not going to have to worry about shields in at the very least. There we go. That's the stuff. Yeah, because this means when a bomb goes off, it hits the entire durable set. I think. Which means every peg is worth, like, triple. Maybe. Now, there, there is the real possibility that this is just not going to scale the way I think it's going to scale. But I think it's going to do what I need it to do. It's certainly fun to watch. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, so whenever I hit one of those, it hits every other bomb in the area for, like, just gobs of damage. I, I might want to try the Orpsium. See what that does. This is stupid. How many bombs is this? Many bombs. And then a big rock. Uh, let's see. Do we want to do the docked orb? Yes. Okay. We're going left or right. Probably right? Yeah, because we might want to just do... Whoop. And see what we get. Frankly, I've already got the relics that I need. The thing I want the most is... Honestly, another Bob Orb. Uh, let's see, there's like no point in me doing a crit here, is there? Oh, there we go. I had some damage. Nah, it didn't do didn't do enough. Okay. It doesn't really matter here. I mean, it does. But yeah, so effectively, every every time we create more bombs, it keeps getting added to the mix. And every time they go off, they just set off all the other ones. The only immediate problem is they do not refresh mid-round, but uh, don't need to. Oh, let's see. Do we upgrade? Yeah, the Doctor Orb. That way I can use it once per fight. That'll give us a little bit of healing. We don't need much. Oh, Haglin? We're gonna remove uh, stone. 
Let's go here. I do want to get uh, bob orbs, but now nah, we only we most likely don't run out of a shot. Max HP by 15. I'll take it. Not huge, but I'll take it. Oh, this is going to be spicy. There's the crit. I think this is going to be a one shot, one bold orb kill. I still think Orbsium would probably be pretty, pretty solid on this. But not at all necessary. All things considered. Look at it go. Oh, uh, we might be here for a while. <laughs> it's the one worry. Wait, no, there's, there's... Uh, yeah, we might still end up being here for a while. Because, yeah, the, we're getting enough bomb spawns. And have enough uh, reset pegs. That our chances of hitting them. And, yeah, there's just enough momentum. Well... I don't know what to do. I'll just stretch. Ah. Stretch, sleep, take a nap, you know, is what it is. I know some people were talking about, like, the reason why the mag... Uh, hey, there it is. Nope. <laughs> From the grave. Uh, people were talking about, like, it's good that the Electro Pegnet got nerfed. There it is. Jesus. Uh, because otherwise you're sitting there waiting for, like, forever. Uh, let's see. Do we want to just... Sure. Otherwise, we're, you're just waiting forever for, you know, your orbs to clear. I, I recognize that. But I think it's part of the, the fun for this game. That I'm not really interested in challenge when playing this. You know, as far as I'm concerned, uh, playing this game is much more of kind of like a... Uh, gosh, how would I describe it? It's more of like, what kind of weird, nutty, busted stuff can I get up to? Rather than, boy, I want to play a hard game today. I think that's true of actually quite a lot of roguelikes for me, and maybe I'm the minority in that. Uh, but it was like the same thing with Hades, you know, everybody was getting into the higher heat levels and I was just like, but why though? That's not, that's not the fun part. The fun part is like figuring out how to make just like Hades get hella drunk and then die. <laughs> wow, gird your ears. There we go. I don't know. We'll probably hit a crit orb. Or, nope. Or let it go. It's getting so dang close. Nope, it ain't gonna get it. It's fine. Doesn't need to. I guess we'll take a little bit of damage here, but we got the docked orb. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Bam. There we go. That'll be some much needed EX or EXP, HP. It's like 11. I guess we don't need to. I'm just gonna put this away. Yeah, not the most primo. Fine. This is probably one of my least favorite levels. Just in terms of how it functions. Also, I guess it wouldn't be a incorrect of me to say I'm getting screwed over a little bit by the uh, gifts that keeps on giving. Wow. Enough damage? Nope. Not enough damage to kill. Okay, we get the crit. That's not helpful. Get another bomb. This is, this hurts.
Okay. Yeah, part of it is we don't have enough things. What? Why is the bold orb just like the best when it comes to momentum? It just oh, probably because it just hits everything and cascades. I don't know. It's fine. Bob orb. Hell yeah. Okay, we do actually want to go into this fight. If the game will let me. There's a very real possibility we just end up elsewhere. At this point, where we stop, who knows. Okay. We made it. <laughs> it was definitely a, uh, a bit of a circuitous route to get there, but we got it. Ah, uh, it's this one. Well, that's trash. It's fine. It doesn't really need to be good. There's the crit. There goes the, there goes the bomb, and now it's going to wipe the floor with everybody. Bammo! And two bombs, who cares? It's really the big bold orb! It carries everything through. And then this man ain't gonna make it. We do have... We got a pair of docked orbs in plenty of time. Like to heal a little, there we go. That's the healing I was looking for. Oh, right. We heal. Um... Do I get another Bob Orb? Or no, we go Matropska. Much as I'd like to go for that second Bob Orb. And yeah, we want to go left here. Or that third Bob Orb. Uh, we need something to actually set off all the bombs. The interesting thing is, if we see the Matropska upgrade, the one that gives us extra, oh, that's nice. Uh, we might actually want to grab that. If it is presented to us as an option. Uh, oh, it would hurt the Bold Orb hyper combo, though. That's like the one downside. Oh. Well. Okay, let's just watch this knife just do heinous things. Uh, no, it fell down too far. Fine. I think Bold Orb is going to be more likely. Because Bold Orb doesn't fall through the cracks in the same way. There we go. <laughs> Frankly, it just kind of glitches out a little bit whenever it gets stuck on those. Of course. The more bombs we trigger, the more likely it is to permanently go away, but that's fine. I don't really need it to last here. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Ah, let's go with that. Bouncers com contributing to damage is kind of meaningless here. Ow. I could have just waited. But it's like two damage. Sure. I guess it gives us two fights. I'll take it. More opportunities for upgrades. That should be solid. Yeah, we don't have the damage upgrades, but that's that's still a lot of bob. Well, I didn't get the reset, but they are dead. <laughs> I love it when it gets stuck. I know it's, like, kind of frustrating, but it's so satisfying all the same. 
There we go. Not much damage. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for this. Get him my forever angry chipmunk ball. There we go. Uh, let's see. God damn it. No, I don't I don't want any of these. Much as like another Matrochka would be good. I'd rather just upgrade the ones we have and cycle through them. Pretty much just in my best interest to just let these go. And boy, are they. Yeah, who needs the meteorite fragment when you have bombs? Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm just going to hit the reset more than anything else. We just want to make sure we refresh all of these bombs constantly. There we go. Yeah, they're dead. There we go. Cause yeah, we just we just want everything to be bombs. There we go. Let's see. Oh yeah, we're <laughs> even if we didn't do enough damp Wow. Cause here's the thing. Every bomb does the AoE around them. So there is a very real possibility we could have a ridiculous cascade effect. That's going to just trigger almost the entire, like a full board wipe because of bombs. I realize once again, I've, I've fallen into the bomb trap, but at the same time, I just, I need to. Because, yeah, if I can trigger a full board wipe due to explosives. Yeah, the only, the only immediate problem is that this does no damage. The Cursed Mask would not be the worst idea here. And yeah, if they're spread out enough, there's a real possibility it'll, it'll happen. Oh, you can even turn the um, the invincible pegs into bombs. That's useful, especially because we have a uh, another bob orb just queued up. Yep, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. All right, I'm just gonna start converting that one. Yeah, look at all those bombs come back. <laughs> yeah, son. Oh, oh, we're in we're in the good place. So, this is why I'm like equal parts tired of Peglin, but not tired of Peglin because it's amazing. It's still absurdly good. I mean, look at it. It just keeps going. Walking on peg shells, huh? All right. Nah, not that definitely this <laughs> It makes it do like a thousand damage instantly because all the bombs trigger all of the nearby pegs <laughs> But it's like I can only imagine this game is going to just be like stinky crazy later uh, ball lightning wouldn't be bad now. Oh, this is tough. Actually, no, it's not. It's not tough. It, okay. I was thinking of the Matropska shell, and it's tempting. However, the only immediate problem is it would actually cut my damage pretty dramatically, because we're benefiting mostly from these these durable pegs getting hit multiple times. So the cursed mask actually is the right is the right call here. Uh, that my bomb damage is substantial and potentially higher than my regular damage. However, 
Holy shit, this looks interesting. Uh, I bet we can get it even higher. It would have been nice to get the Metropska shell. And, you know, obviously if we get the event where we go refight a uh, T1 boss again, that'll do it, but... Or, that'll do it if we get it. But if it doesn't, I don't know. There we go. Plus, now my Bob Orbs actually do some damage. It's a plus. Uh, give me the reset. Nope. And we might take some damage here. We'll see. Come on. Give me the refresh. You know I'm good for it. Yeah. This is going to do a ton of damage to that first guy. Well, I guess it will take him out. Probably skip the Doc Orb. I don't think we need it. There we go. Yeah, so every time we hit one of these bombs, it's like an extra 100 damage. Easy. Yep. And it's also a lot of bombs. Do I want the Orbsium? I'm going to. I don't know what it's going to do with gravity here. Because that gets kind of funky. Okay. Uh, no. I'd actually rather have the max HP. At this point, health isn't really much of an issue for me. So I don't need to worry about it. Ooh. Off of the Dag Orb. Alright, where are we going? We don't really need a whole lot of question marks. Let's go, let's go left. Gives us that mid-boss. I don't really need the mid-boss either, but I don't know. Yeah, so we can at least upgrade this probably once. There we go. Oh, it's some good damage from the Orbsium. Oh, but it's halved, of course. Well. Kind of doesn't matter to me. Okay. Look at them bombs go. Yeah, that's it. That's what I want. Alright, we deleted from existence. Memor, nah. I care not. There we go. Whoa, what? Huh. This is a new one. Won't lie, this game desperately needed this. I just am a little perturbed. All right, so this will take out the little guy behind. Does he some- wait. He fires his own. Rude. Well, there that goes. I was hoping to get the crit. Nope, there's the crit. That's some damage. To me and him. Let's see if I- nah, he dies. Wow. That was a thing. Every shot is crit when fire below 30% health. Now let's go monster training. They kind of synergize. Uh, boop. Yeah, still fine. 
And also, doesn't really matter at this point. We've got a pseudo winning run. Okay, so here's the question. Oh, right side is terrifying. Which is why I'm going to do it. Look, if I die, like, who cares if I beat the last boss at this point? Okay. And we want to go down the right side. I guarantee this is going to hurt. But it'll be kind of fun. Okay. Well, I guess this does... This actually doesn't matter. Anything canon will happen here. Oh, did we get the crit? No. I don't think we need the crit. Overwhammer would actually be rather handy for a run like this. Not that handy. Oh, Doctor's like at the very bottom. Oh, uh, wait. Why did I fire this up? Or I should have saved the Orbsium. This is going to clobber that singular spider. Okay, now that I've eaten and everything else has changed. Uh-oh. Well, this is heartbreaking. There's no mid-run saving in this and it just crashed on me. Ah, oh, that sucks. I mean, it's fine. We already got the uh, the best possible iteration for that for that run. You know, I uh, I'm I'm actually very upset about this. Even though we gotten pretty much the best outcome on the previous end of the previous act, having the game crash and not save is real bad. I can't I I can't actually believe that a roguelike in this modern day and age does not have mid-run savings. Like I I'm actually really kind of bothered by that. <sighs> I it's fine. It's fine. I mean, I'm what? 20-something episodes into this and it's the first time it's actually crashed on me? It was just such a good run. I don't have time to record another one of these. That sucks. Because now it's like, do I just do another run? But that's like an hour. I don't have, I don't have an hour. I don't know. This is... I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna see if there's some mods or something. This sucks. Because at this point, I want to do that run again. It was too good of a run to like have it be undone, but now I have to rely on RNG. I, I know a lot of people are like, oh, why do you want command mode? Or roguelikes about RNG. And the answer is like, I don't know, for a roguelike this thin, I'd actually rather just control my build and mess around rather than, uh, you know, constantly get okay runs. I mean, I've gotten some bangers the last couple episodes. But as it just I'm crushed. It's, is what it is. I'll see, I'll see about those mods. We'll see what happens. For now though, I thanks for watching. I'm so sorry it had to end this way, but it's not really on me, so I don't know.